Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you've seen in the title, today I'm going to react to Young K, from Day 6, new album, Letters with Notes. I've actually already heard quite a lot of the songs in it so I will only react to the ones I didn't hear yet. With that being said let's start. Hello guys before starting this video, I wanted to present you a new K-pop merch shop, Utopia Land. It is owned by my friend and I'm trying to help her. So she designed it herself, right now it's mostly BTS but she is planning to add some other K-pop groups so you can leave your request for her in the comments below. Anyway she ships everywhere in the world, I would leave the link of her shop either in the description or in the comments section. Please go check her work. Now let's start the video. They've crafted a contemporary take on 90s rock with this one. It was quite good, and I can envision it being used as the soundtrack for a Korean drama or even a coming-of-age film. I could see myself listening to it from time to time, giving it an 8 tenths. It had a reminiscent vibe of a Day 6 song, and I understand that might seem a bit obvious considering he's a part of the group. However, I was hoping for his solo work to have a somewhat distinct style from the group's concept. Nevertheless, it's a lovely song, and I genuinely enjoyed it, particularly the chorus. I can easily envision myself listening to it while driving or taking the bus. The music video was also quite beautiful. Overall, I'd rate it 8.1, 10. This is a cool British rock track featuring some grungy guitars. I genuinely appreciate the song's message, which encourages always remaining a dreamer and not succumbing to the harsh realities of life. The chorus, in particular, resonated with me. I wish I were fluent in Korean so I could sing along with him. It's a fantastic song, earning an 8.1, 10 from me. This is a love song featuring a solid beat and Young K's fantastic vocals. I'm particularly fond of the guitars in this track. It's the kind of song you turn up in your headphones and enthusiastically sing along to in your room. I can also envision it becoming a frequent radio hit, the perfect tune for a road trip. It's my favorite so far, earning an 8.2, 10 in my book. CHOILB is a fantastic inclusion in this track, and I'm absolutely enamored with the brass instruments. This song is incredibly soulful, and I might have spoken prematurely about my favorite track on the album because this one easily takes the crown. I fell in love with it the moment I heard it, and I can imagine myself hitting the repeat button numerous times. It's an 8.5, 10 for me. This ballad is brimming with longing, and it even brought tears to my eyes. It's truly exquisite. As you all know, ballads typically aren't my preferred genre, but this one was so stunning that I couldn't help but fall in love with it. It's the kind of song I'll turn to whenever I'm feeling moody or in a somber mood. A beautiful choice to conclude the album. 8.3, 10. This album was truly exceptional. Every track, including the ones not featured in the video, exhibited remarkable diversity and excellence. While it may not be an album I'd play on a daily basis, I'll certainly revisit it whenever I'm in the mood for its unique offerings. Overall, it's a standout release 8.2, 10. He truly gifted us with a gem, that album was absolutely beautiful. Well, that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and please share your thoughts in the comments. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave the link in the description. I'll make an effort to be more active there and engage with you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Love you all.